What's up you guys? Welcome to the actual shit show that is my second channel. Today we're gonna do, boom, Taco Bell mukbang. This was not supposed to be a Taco Bell mukbang. It was supposed to be a boxy charm video, but when I was filming the video, I was filming two videos that day and I took the SD card out of my camera and set it down somewhere and I cannot find it. Also, I know the lighting sucks in here. It's like the only table that is available to me because we're painting pumpkins downstairs and it's like a complete disaster. So y'all just gonna have to bear with me. I have a filming light, but it's way the F up there. I don't know how to adjust it. So we gotta work with what we're working with. It's super laid back over here. So, okay. What did I get? That's the thumbnail. <laughs> what did I get from Taco Hell? I got me some nachos. I've never had that before. I got a Doritos Locos taco and I got a quesadilla. I don't know why I just said that like that. I have not had Taco Bell in probably two years. Like, I don't even know why I'm eating it right now. Okay, let's see what these, ta what these tacos, let's see what these nachos look like. It's just been a busy day, you guys. I've been in front of my computer all day working on school. Yesterday I was in front of my computer all day working on YouTube, which I love, but it is very time consuming. Hmm. This is what they look like. I'm gonna try not to spill them. I'm like such a train wreck. They look okay. They don't look too exciting. This is just gonna make me wanna go to Uncle Julio's. I wonder if y'all can hear me chewing. <laughs> also, mukbangs are kind of weird, right? I know, bro. I know. That's pretty good. I, I mean, they're not as exciting as table side guac from Uncle Julio's, but like, I'm sure they only cost like four bucks, so. I'm gonna complain about them, but eat the entire thing. Anyone else do that? <laughs> so Reese just got back from New Jersey. He travels a lot for business and he went to Newark for something and he came home even after that flight from Jersey to back to Chicago. He said, you know what? I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna take both girls, sign Mike out early so that you can have the afternoon kid free. I'm just like, oh, where did you come from? <laughs> My angel. I should be working on school, but I also, like, it's a mom thing. I want to be productive when the kids aren't here. My hair sucks. But I also want to relax and chill when the kids aren't here. It's like when they go to bed after a long day, I'm exhausted. All I want to do is go to sleep, but then I spend, like, an hour on my phone or, like, reading a book because it's like, oh, I can relax. So, yes, I need to catch up on sleep, but I also need to catch up on the kids not being in my face. You know what I mean? So, 9 o'clock is my jam. Okay, this looks extremely like amazing Doritos Locos tacos we just call these walk-in tacos because if your kids have like a soccer game make freaking taco stuff and get those little Dorito bags and put the taco stuff like the meat lettuce cheese and all of that tomato put it in the taco bag and take them to the soccer games walk-in taco bring a fork boom is it the best taco ever hell no <laughs> am I gonna eat all of it yup I wonder who finally invented this because burritos for tacos for like ever, you know? Who's making money off you, dude? <gasps> I just realized there's no fire sauce. <sighs> I forgot the fire sauce. <laughs> what is my life? You can't eat Taco Bell without fire sauce. Dang, this is this is really depressing. <laughs> so I have a um, a couple really exciting videos coming your way. We're gonna do hauls. I'm like really pumped about the second channel. It's just fun. Like it's fun to be you know laid back, throwing up whatever I want. Like I feel like we're all hanging out. You know. 
The longer these nachos sit here, the more gross they get. <laughs> Maybe that's why they gave me the spork, because it's decomposing as we speak. Um, this weekend I am meeting CG Kid. If y'all don't know who CG Kid is, he's he's a YouTuber, but he's more than that. He's a really cool dude. He talks a lot about um about what <clears throat> he's a poly addict who talks a lot about what addiction is like, and I just really like his channel. I'm actually new to him. Also, I had seen one of CG Kid's videos like. I want to say a year ago and the title was what is meth addiction like and I'm like mm, I need to scroll past that because I just didn't want to talk about like the deets of of that addiction but once I finally clicked on that video I was like man this is an amazing video he's not glamorizing it or glorifying it he's just dropping some knowledge on the YouTube and I appreciate that so I get to meet him on Saturday and I'm so 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 excited I'm gonna vlog all of that for my second channel and then throw up an interview with him on my main channel It's not fire sauce, but it's hot sauce. Oh, score. So excited. <laughs> Dating a bodybuilder seems appealing, okay? Because they're they're in great shape. They look good. They're obviously disciplined. They're pretty. But when you live with one, they close everything like the damn Hulk. Oh my god. Oh, boy. Seriously, bro, you gotta pipe down. <laughs> no, I love that man. But geez, dude, like he doesn't understand gentle. So I'll be like, hey, can you rub my back? And I have to say like gently though, okay? He's like, okay. And like, he doesn't get it. And I'm like, okay, whatever you think gentle is, dial that back like 20 notches and homie, you got it. Like, geez, <laughs> calm down, Hercules. I love him though. <laughs> so much better. This is gonna make me feel like shit, but it's delicious. This is just a video talking shit about Taco Bell for however long this video is. While I eat every single bite. <laughs> so on Tuesday, it is currently Wednesday, so next Tuesday, I'm going to the tattoo shop for a massive piece on my arm. If food doesn't make you dance, it sucks. So, this is mediocre. So, back to the tattoo. I'm getting from here all the way here. This entire back piece of my arm is going to be covered in tattoo ink, and I'm so, so, so excited. I'm going to film it. I'm not sure on what channel I'm going to put that up. But it literally is like the baddest tattoo I've ever seen. Wanna hear some crazy story? Okay, so I cheated on my tattoo artist. I go to two artists in the same shop and I've only gotten like small pieces from them. But they know me because I bring in all this YouTube equipment, they remember me. I asked one artist a few weeks ago to start drawing me up something and I'm still gonna get it. But I asked him to start drawing me up something like skulls and like flower, like a snake. Like I want it to be like all cool, but like girly because I'm confusing. He's like, yeah, I'll work on that. When can you get in? And I'm like, as soon as possible. And he even said, I'll stay late for you. I'm like, I really appreciate that, man. Like you the man. And then I went on Instagram to another guy that I've gotten some work done from. And I saw this piece and I'm getting something really similar. But, but then I went to this other artist that I've gotten some work done in the past. And I saw this piece and I'm getting something similar, but he's so good and so detailed and I'm obsessed with the design and I just have to get it. Like, I can't stop thinking about it. I have to get it and I already put down the deposit and I made the appointment. So yeah, I have to go in there and be like, mm, it's not me. It's a different YouTuber that comes in here with fucking equipment. I'm still gonna get the skull thing though. I'm just like obsessed with the piece I'm gonna get on Tuesday. You know, I have a confession to make. I don't have it all together. <laughs> and if you ever follow a family online and it looks like they have their whole life together and they're perfect, just know no one is perfect, okay? So I might seem like the best mom in the world or a great, per a great person, a great YouTuber. I still struggle, you guys. So it's really hard balancing things. I'm a full-time student, full-time YouTuber, full-time mom, full-time stay-at-home mom. It's a lot, so... <laughs> 
sometimes I mess up and Micah has been late to school every single day this week. And you know the little portion where it's like, why is she late? I'm just going to start writing. It's just who I am at this point. Like, it's so tough. I confuse late start day with regular day. It's just crazy. Her school does um, a late start day. So every Wednesday, she doesn't have to get there at 9. She has to get there at 9.15. I thought Tuesday was Wednesday. So we were late. <laughs> And we've been late every day and Reese just picked her up early from school. So I'm sure that school is like, what is going on in your life? We're busy, man. Like, I don't know. School's important, but also she is seven and should have a life. So she went to school for one week, the, the beginning of the school year. Then we took an entire week, her second week in school, we went to Florida. And every day this week, she's been late. I'm sure they're not big fans of me. They think Micah should be there every single day on time. Like, and I get it. They totally should. But we're also trying to make memories and live our best life and not be so like, you must do all of this work. You know, they're set. Like, let, her, let our kids be seven. Why are they trying to teach my seven-year-old common core math? This hot sauce made all the difference. I mean, just the way that the teachers were when she was in kindergarten, they literally said to me, and she was five, she just turned five, she was little, Micah thinks it's playtime all the time, and I'm like, yeah, because she's fucking five. Doesn't every five-year-old think it's playtime all the time? Uh, yes, because children are just tiny people that only want to have fun. Hashtag Jenna Marbles. <laughs> You know, so I just hate all the pressure that they're putting on kids. Well, I think education is so important. I also think it's important to have, you know, create memories and have a good childhood. And it makes me crazy when I'm trying to teach my kid common core math, which I know nothing about. It doesn't serve anyone. I get frustrated. Micah cries. Like, it's not good. It's not a good time. That's why I could never homeschool because I'm like, I don't know what they want you to know. You want to play bubbles? <laughs> I don't even know what this says. You want to go outside and run around? So long story short, if you're a homeschool teacher, you deserve like a trophy or a holiday, or like a really big cookie. You guys are amazing. I don't understand how you can homeschool. You seriously deserve, you have all of my respect and you deserve a holiday or like an island. <clears throat> this is really random, but <laughs> that's all we're doing today. I got a manicure last week. And I usually get the no chip manicure, but that's like 35 bucks. And there was something that I'm working on that I might have needed just a regular manicure, which I can't tell you guys about yet, but um, so that I could just easily take it off if I needed to and not have to like sit there and like cry and scream and try to peel off a no chip manicure. And, you know, it's kind of lasting the same. And it costs 15 bucks. So I think I'm just going to... I was playing marker with Riley. My hands are clean, but we also painted a pumpkin and we were doing markers. But yeah, it's lasting the same. So why spend $35 when you can just spend 15 Or zero and do it at home. But I like how they take the cuticles off of my hands. So I think it's worth your coin. Is anyone else like this? Like, I hate... I love pedicures because of the way that my feet look and because of the way that they feel, but I hate when they scrape my feet. I don't know if it's I'm extremely ticklish or like whatever. I can't stand it. So I have to force myself to not kick the guy in the face or like scream. Like I hate it, but I like the way my feet feel. So <laughs> I torture myself. Okay, you guys, my battery is about to die. Hopefully you enjoyed this random rambles Taco Bell mukbang. <laughs> So I will see you in the next one and be on the lookout for my vlog of meeting CG Kid and then our interview on my main channel. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye.